What's up? My name's Taylor. This is my YouTube channel. I've been wanting to create a YouTube channel for the longest time. I think that it's been kind of like a pull in my heart for a little while and has just been kind of like a lifelong, not lifelong, but it's been like a while, like a few years of a dream that I've had. I've watched YouTube forever. I remember watching it back in like middle school and everything and just back whenever like big makeup people were like just getting started and stuff so i think this is just such a fun space to create and vlog and just just another outlet to do really fun stuff so that is what we're doing it's gonna be great i'm super excited i love the idea of vlogs because they are like live scrapbooks almost they're scrapbooks I love the idea of vlogs. I think they are so fun. They're just amazing keepsakes to keep back and be able to look back on and just earn an incredible live diary pretty much. And that's kind of what I wanted from vlogs. So we built this house that we're in right now. So I'm wanting to do like a house tour and all kinds of stuff. I just have lots of fun little like dreams and ideas planned for this space. I'm just really excited about it. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Step number one is making sure I'm looking in the viewfinder and not in the viewfinder, but into the camera because I'm so used to doing Instagram stories and stuff on Instagram where you just look at the screen. So that's step one, look at the camera, Taylor. It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna make it through. I thought for this first video, it would be fun to do a 10 facts about me. Have my 10 facts, we're ready to go. If I keep looking down, it's cause I'm looking at my paper and I'm not a professional. So fact number one, I'm super introverted. If you know me in real life, you know this, but you also know that I'm super extroverted around people that I'm comfortable with. I'm an extroverted introvert, so I, really really thrive off of my alone time and that's where i gain my energy i don't get energy from being around a lot of people and it's really draining to me honestly so i like to be around people but only for a little bit and then i gotta go home and recharge but i'm on the enneagram i'm a one wing nine so i'm super type a i'm pretty organized but my wing nine comes in a lot too i think it's pretty strong i'm definitely not a wing two husband ben is a is a two wing three i'm a one wing nine my nine wing is super strong but i'm also very very heavy one very one to a t and just am yeah, it is what it is i try to be really spontaneous but you girls gotta have a plan you know a list a plan just all the things that ones have to have so yeah i'm an introverted one wing nine and that's that's it number two is i am a christian i'm very strong in my faith i would love to do a video about my testimony i think it would resonate with a lot of people i just like a fast forward like in a nutshell like testimony in a nutshell i grew up in a christian household um it was always a thing i was always around it i knew jesus growing up but i didn't really know him until college and so i would consider myself a born-again christian from college from college on out it has just been one of the biggest things in my life and i hope it shows and i hope that that's something that people know about me that is a huge part of my life and so that's my fun fact fun fact slash just who part of who I am. So I just want this space to also just be somewhere that you can just feel Jesus's love and just somewhere that you can come and feel the Father's presence and just feel that and just be invited here and know that you're welcomed and loved. Okay, number three is I am married. I mentioned my husband, Ben. We have been married for two years and at the end of this year, so at the end of 2020, we will have been together for seven years. That sounds absolutely insane. It's gone by so incredibly fast. We got married November 8th of 2018 and we've been married a little over two years and he is incredible. If you guys know Ben in real life, you just know what a gift he is just to anyone and everyone around him yeah i could just make a whole video about him and he'll probably he's gonna see this and be like oh because he is the hard hard enneagram too and i call myself an emotional cactus so anything emotional is just funny for me i guess but 
He's just the best and he is just such an incredible example of a strong Christian leader in our home. I'm just so thankful and he is just so great. And if you guys ever have the opportunity to meet him, you will see that he is just so incredible. He, I like to call him, he's like an 80 year old man. He is so wise and he is basically an walking encyclopedia. He knows so many random interesting facts and facts that are good to know and just facts that I'm like, where did you even hear that? And how did you retain that? It's just crazy. You'll have one conversation with him and see that. He's great. Love you. All right. Number four is that I love organization. I used to be insanely addicted to my Erin Condren planner, mostly in college whenever I had classes and sorority stuff and just a ton of different things that I had to organize. Now that I work, uh, I'm a nurse, now that I work a job and I don't really have, I don't have school or anything like that, I don't use it as much. I mostly just use my phone. I do love myself a good hard copy planner, paperback planner, washi tape, you know, all the things. I used to be really into it. Like my planner used to be washi taped out to a T and color coordinated. It was crazy. So I don't do as much of that anymore. I do more home organization and kitchen organization, you know, things like that. I re most recently redid my entire walk-in pantry with container store containers, those straw-ish they're called water hyacinth. I think I'm saying that right. Baskets. And I can, I'll post a picture right here and show you guys my, my pantry, but I love my pantry. It took a little while to figure out all the configuration of it, but I love stuff like that. I did all of our bathroom drawers and everything. Yeah. I just love good organization, just sparks an area in my heart that I just love so much. Our closet is a little bit organized too. I do everything by color. I love Marie Kondo when that came out. I think my heart sang a little bit and the home edit. Oh, I've been following them for years and have a show now. If you guys haven't seen the home edit on Netflix. That is just, it just makes my heart sing. Just watching stuff like that. I just feel like those kind of people get me so much. Just organization and everything makes me so happy. And I can do a video on my pantry organization. I get people that ask me about it from time to time. And it was such a fun project and I would love to show you guys. So that would be really fun too. Number five is that I love to read. I'm a huge bookworm. So back in elementary, middle school and most of high school, I was an avid reader. I loved reading. I would kill so many books in the library. I would read a couple books a week kind of thing. I was like that all through middle school and most of high school. It kind of slowed down when I got a TV in my room and a laptop, but before then that's all I did. I would read all the time. And when I got to college, I feel like every reader has a story about when they get to college and they just don't read for fun for a while because you have so much stuff to read in college, especially me being in nursing school. I just did not want to do anything that required my brain to work any more than it needed to on school stuff. So I would just do something mindless with my free time. And I really fell out of reading. It wasn't until the last couple years that I really got back into reading. I love, love, love to read. And I've found my love of reading again and I just love it. There, there's something about reading an incredible book and being able to immerse yourself in the story and the characters. It's just so special. I love it so much. I have a Goodreads account. I'll link it down below in the description box. If you have Goodreads, please follow me. I love to creep on your books of what people are reading. I have a, a bunch of my friends are on there and I like to see where people are reading. You can. Goodreads is really fun because you can mark wherever you're reading and everything. So you can do by page number and stuff and it'll show you your progress. And it's just a lot of fun. There's reading challenges. I have a 30 book reading goal this year. I'm at 20. I think and so I slowed down a little bit in the summer which really stinks I'm trying to bust my tail to get to my 30 my ultimate reading goal would be to read 100 books in a year that sounds absolutely insane I have a friend who reads like that and she I believe she read 100 books last year or is well on her way to reading 100 books this year it's just such a reading goal of mine and that sounds so nerdy but I'm such a bookworm and if you're a bookworm too then you'll understand but I love goodreads go follow me on goodreads I read both Kindle and paperback book. I get that question a lot of like, what kind 
if I read more paper or not. I go back and forth. I read Kindle a lot when I get on a Kindle kick and then I read paperback a lot when I get on a paperback kit kick. For the most part, I just don't discriminate. I also really like audiobooks. I don't read them as read them as much as a hard copy or Kindle book, but I still love them. There are certain types of books that I really, really, really enjoy listening to. A lot of like autobiographies or just like happier books or books that have a really good narrator. The Harry Potter books are incredible on audio. Obviously incredible regular book, but listening to them is an amazing experience. The narrator is just so good. I mean, the different sounds and effects and everything, it's just incredible to listen to the, that series on audio. So if you haven't read the Harry Potter books yet, I just, I don't know what to say other than read them, start them today, tonight. Read them on audio, listen to them. If you're not a reader, you have to experience the, the book form if you've only ever seen the movies. Yeah, I could do a whole, a whole video on Harry Potter. It's just such literature genius writing and storyline. Oh, so good. Number six, I mentioned this earlier, but I am a nurse. I am a registered nurse. I have been a nurse a little over three-ish years, coming up on four years now. Um, I'm currently working in the NICU, which is the neonatal intensive care unit. If you don't know, it's basically little babies that just need a little bit of help or are really sick. And I work in an ICU setting, but with babies. So I did NICU for a couple years when we lived in in Birmingham. We live in Pensacola now. When we moved to Pensacola, I actually worked outpatient in an outpatient pediatric specialty clinic. So I worked in a pulmonology clinic. That was really fun, but ultimately I wanted to go back to the bedside. So I'm back in the NICU now and with my little babies and it's so fun. Nursing is just so interesting to me. There, there are so many different aspects of nursing. You literally can change and go a completely different route whenever you want to. And I think that is the beauty of nursing. If you were in nursing school, I feel you just stick it out, keep going. It is worth it. The career as a nurse is one that is so incredible. Just from the sheer amount of career options that you have, you will always have a job. You will always be able to find a job. Super rewarding. You know, if you're in nursing school, you know, but it's just, it's hard. You just have to stick it through and you will come out better in the end. It's just really hard and, but it's worth it. You can do it. If you're in nursing school, my heart goes out to you. Just stick it out. You can do it. It's going to be fine in the end and you'll find your place. But I'm a nurse. I would love to do some nursing videos. I can do like day in a life, day in the life of an of my off days. Um, I work three twelves right now. So I have a good amount of off days. I work night shift also. So that's just a whole nother topic in itself is night shift. I'm going to day shift soon, but I can feel you for the night shift. It's just one of a kind. If you've never done night shift, I just don't know how to describe it unless you've experienced it. It's just definitely an experience. And if you know, you know. Okay, my seventh fun fact is that I like to bake. I am not an avid baker. I dabble in baking. I would say I can make some basic bread recipes and I make really good pumpkin cupcakes. I bake, if I, I can follow a recipe. I mean, my favorite baking people are Sally's Baking Addiction. I'll link her down below. She's incredible. Her recipes are amazing. Elizabeth and Butter is really good. And I don't know why I haven't tried any of Half Baked Harvest's recipes yet. They're all over my feed and she just posted this pumpkin chocolate bread amazing recipe that I think I'm gonna try. Yeah, I like to bake. It's really fun. I don't really like to cook. Ben honestly cooks most of our meals. We do Home Chef. We do a couple of those meals a week and he pretty much cooks them. I mean, I can. I just, cooking's just not my favorite. I would much rather bake. I don't, there's so much more satisfaction to me in baking, especially bread. Ugh, bread is just a labor of love, let me tell you. And when it comes out good, you just feel on top of the world and your whole, whole house smells like bread. It's just so good. So I dabble in baking. That's number seven. Number eight is my fun fact. The one that you tell in those icebreaker games when you're in a group of random people that you've never met and the host makes you do icebreakers. This is my fun fact. I have bungee jumped over the Nile River in Africa. It's just like my claim to fun fact fame. I was terrified. It was the most terrifying experience I've ever had. I will never do it again, ever in my life. It was 
so scary. The terror, I can still feel it like in my bones just of how terrifying that jump was. And yet it's like the most accomplished I've ever felt. I'm so scared of heights. So the fact that I did that was absolutely wild. I think it was 150 almost 150 feet that I dropped. If you like stuff like that, I would recommend it. If you don't like stuff like that, don't do it. It was so scary. I'll never do it again, but I have the video to show and prove and that honestly makes it worth it. Number nine, we're almost done. Number nine is that we've really gotten into more natural living, natural products, like low toxic, non-toxic stuff. It's a process, let me tell you. It is a road. It is one that we know is gonna be better for our health and it's been a lot of fun. I really have enjoyed learning more about natural products and just low toxic, non-toxic products. Just learning about all the things that are in our everyday stuff that we are taught is okay and good for us when in reality it's not and so that has been a huge journey for me i have a little young living business on the side that i love so much and it has just really opened my eyes up to so much in this world this day and age that we just are so blind by because it's stuff that we've always used we've just started using a lot more natural products and diffusing. It's been a really fun journey and just one that has been very eye-opening. If that's something that you guys want me to do videos on, I would love to do it. It's just been such a cool journey for our family, being able to introduce just better products for us and just knowing that the stuff we're bringing into our house is what we want to bring to our house. You're ultimately the gatekeeper of your own home and you're the one that chooses what you bring in for your family, what is safe for your family. I just think it's been a really cool process and I'm learning more every every day and it's been really fun. So that is something that I've become really passionate about. Y'all will see that probably in these videos too. Okay, number 10, ending on a fun one. So I have two cats. This may not be fun for people, but it's a huge part of my life. So Scarlet is right here. This room Room is our guest room. It just has incredible natural light in front of this window. I call it Scarlet's room because she's always in here sitting right here on the bed. She's my little rag doll. I've had her since sophomore year of college. I got her as a kitten. She is just so cute. She is a sassy girl. Let me tell you, she is super independent. She's kind of like a typical cat, like people that aren't cat people. She's kind of like that unless she really likes you. So my husband, Ben, she really really hated him for the majority of our relationship. Basically our whole relationship, she's hated my husband until he, we've lived together. We didn't live together before we lived, we moved in when we got married. So she's just gotten used to him. And Scarlett has always really liked my roommate. Any roommate that I had in college or after college, she just takes to them. She, I guess she just sits down and is like, okay, I guess I have to live with these people. So I might as well get some benefit and some pets from it. She's obsessed with my husband now. Anytime he's sitting down, she has to crawl all over him and she meows at him all the time. And she just loves him so much. It's super funny. And then my other cat, Opie is just, oh, we just love her so much. We got her from a, one of my coworkers back in Birmingham, had to get rid of her and we got her and oh my gosh, she's just, so amazing. She's such a loaf. She's a big girl, let me tell you. She just likes to loaf around and we just love her so much. She is just such a cute little companion. She, I'll put a little picture of her right here. She is just so fat and so cute. We just love her so much. I cannot imagine not having her here. Her and Scarlett's personalities are so different and they're so funny. People that are not cat people are probably like, what the heck? Like we're just not dog people. Ben is trying to convince me to get a dog, but I just don't know. Cats are just so easy. They just are so funny. And if you have a good cat like Opie, Opie is one of those cats that I feel like turns people that are anti-cat into liking cats. Like she's just so funny and fun. She loves belly scratches. I really think she's part dog. That's probably why she's just super chill and just so funny. We just love her. Okay, those are my 10 facts. My first YouTube video down. That was really fun. I am super looking forward to doing more of these and doing more vlogs and just taking you guys around. We have a lot of fun things coming up in our lives soon. I just really wanna be able to document them. That is one of the main things that kind of spurred me to, I'm sitting in front of my window and my neighbors are driving by on the golf cart really slow. 
one of the main reasons for me wanting to do this YouTube channel is to basically have a live diary and live archive of memories of Ben and I and just fun things that we love, just our daily in and outs, just things that are just fun. I love Instagram. I think it's super fun, but I think YouTube is a really fun platform as well to just get more content out there. So I think it could be so much fun. If you guys have any video requests, let me know. You can follow me on Instagram and I'll have more postings. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of, this is a learning curve for sure. Whenever I get started on new projects, I try to go full force. This one's been one that I've just kind of tried, had to rip the bandaid off and just do and just learn as I go. I mean, y'all should see my tripod right now. I think I should probably be in YouTube jail for what it looks like. I don't have a proper tripod. I just said proper. I've been I've been watching too much of the Great British Baking Show because I'm starting to talk like that, but I don't I don't hate it. I don't have a good tripod yet. That's in my Amazon order. So that should be coming. I really just want this to be a fun space that I can post things that I'm loving and enjoying and stuff that you guys want to see and just have a really amazing archive of memories for Ben and I to look back on and just have. And I just think it's going to be a really fun journey and I'm so excited for it. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You can like and subscribe. I've never thought I'd say that, but like and subscribe and I'll have more videos. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.